You need to know about my job to understand all this. I'm a documentary filmmaker of sorts. I say of sorts because they're not the straightest of documentaries. In 2009, while filming race relations, I spent two days with the leader of a Mississippian white supremacist group, a man named Richard Barrett. I procured a saliva sample off him, took it to a DNA testing facility, then revealed the results at one of his events. And there's no real easy way to put this, but you have African DNA. Richard Barrett started legal action against me, and I was forced to drop the story. Not a frame of Richard Barrett or Mississippi made it to air. That was that, one year later. Yellow crime tape surrounds white supremacist Richard Barrett's home on East Petros Road in Rankin County. Firefighters found Barrett dead inside his home on Thursday. Investigators say he was stabbed to death and parts of his body were burned. I realised this was my Truman Capote moment. I abandoned everything in Melbourne, jumped on a plane and got lost in Mississippi for half a year. I soon became entwined in the lives of those in the circle of the murder. The killer, Vincent McGee. Are you guilty or not guilty? Yes. Richard's white supremacist frenemy, Jim Giles. The next home's white, the next home's black. The black journalist, Ernest McBride. And this is legitimate now, this is historic. Head of the Vincent McGee Defence Fund, Valina Greer. They are the oldest terrorist group in the world. The district attorney, Michael Guest. Unwanted sexual advances and that led to the death of Richard Baird. Vincent's mother, Tina McGee. They have no evidence and they give you three years. Yeah. What you call that? Maybe I got in a little too deep. Say Jasper, bro. I get you killed in your house tonight. Brain being the street. Murder in Mississippi. This is a true story.